All right, welcome to another video of the Targeted Individual Program, Targeted Individual Express. I wasn't going to do a video until they using their the car honk. I talk about when I watch certain videos, certain words, or certain phrases, certain topics. They will either use the police sirens or the car honking. So I was watching a, a video. I was watching a video. I think it was a commercial, and the CDC name was set. Right and and again, this is a, it's about let's see what time it is. It's after one o'clock, one a.m. in the morning. So I'm watching this video. Like I said, it was a commercial came over to the CDC. They started to use the horn, the car horn. Right. Again, uh, when I talk about these types of experimentation being done on human beings, you know, we know the federal government, we know the security agencies, we know the CDC is all involved. We know state, local. Uh, police department involved hospitals those uh, that work within the work for those agencies civilian agents who are placed in these positions in order to uh, deny and to again label victims of non-consensual experimentation as being mentally ill and and such and to, like I said to set you up in order to silence you and because I, re I refuse to be silent about what it is that they're doing, the non-consensual human experimentation, the illegal microchipping for the purpose of remote monitoring and to control the minds of human beings and to manipulate our minds without us even realizing or understand, understanding how they're doing it and what's going on, right? So again, uh, they think that they're slick. But like I said, I am going to expose them in every single way. I am not afraid. All right, and this is what I wanted to know because, for one, when you understand how they use fear and fear as a tactic in order to control you, all right, here's another thing I've been thinking about today, too. So, early on in my targeting, you know, my aunt uh, was telling me, she said, um, that our family is related to Malcolm X's mother's family, all right. And, you know, again, I try not to think about these things because, you know, when I look at um, particularly civil rights leaders, their children and their, uh, their family members, how they have been veered away from political activism, serious political activism, right? In the case where you have Malcolm X's grandson who was getting ready to get into more of a political activism. And what happened, he gets invited to go to Mexico End up getting in a bar fight, getting killed. His friend survived, right? Nothing happened to his friend, just him. I remember um, a couple of years ago, uh, someone on Facebook had invited me to some um, some sp for some event that was happening. And they wanted me to speak, right? And this was this was after the death of Malcolm X's grandson, you know. And for some reason, that kind of uh, stuck with me, so I told the person no. And again, for those of us in the conscious community, you have to understand that even in our community, they are agents, okay? They are agents within our community. So we must understand that that's the conscious, the black conscious community, the black uh, conscious movement community. They are agents in our community. When I talk about the infiltration in every aspect of society, in everything and everywhere, this is what they do. This is how they infiltrate, using family members, Again, go look up uh, Zotze Zoom, all right, in, in East Germany. Our family, doctors, lawyers, they were all involved. Okay? So, no, like I said, I'm not going to let them railroad me and try to silence me. They, com they committed an act of war against me and fellow TIs. Non-consensual human experimentation on an individual, I consider that an act of war. Within that, with, within my sovereignty, uh, in my persons, my personal space, it, it is warfare. All right, this is why they constantly, particularly for us black people, want us to be highly Christianized. For one, when you become highly Christianized, you become highly docile. Okay, forgive your enemy, no matter what your enemy do to you. Pray for them, love them, and forgive them. All right, yet they pray on us. We who have done nothing to them, they simply because we are black, 
I'm simply because we are African. They have hidden our history from us. They condition us with this backward mindset. Lies to us about history. Saying that they civilize us when we have civilized them. Constantly cropping our culture, our inventions. We're really talking about a parasitic class of people. Not all, but those at the top who consider themselves to be unlike us. We are the lower beings in their minds and in their eyes. And they can play with us like toys. I just read an article in New York City that they have, landlords have perfect, uh, purposely withheld tens and thousands of vacant apartments. Why? Because poverty is engineered. Homelessness is engineered. Understand that. Go read the article. As I think it's the site called The City. All right? Land, go read the article. Google landlords in, landlords in New York City withholding tens, and thousands, tens of thousands of vacant apartments. Okay? They are creating mass homelessness. All right. So, I'm not gonna get. I don't wanna make this a long video. It's gonna talk about the transhumanist agenda, right? But we live in a liberal state, in a liberal city. And who are the owners of these real estate? Okay. So if you if you're a TI, go and Google the protocols of the elders of Zion. Go and read it. You can download it for free. Read it. Read it and then see what's happening today. And then go back and read it again. Though they say that it is a propaganda document, when you look at the reality of what's happening, ask yourself, is it really propaganda? Right? Because we know about the Zionists. Even the... Uh, Religious Jews who are not the Zionists will tell you about the Zionist Jews. Okay? And again, you know, for me saying that, they're going to say, oh, you're anti Semitic. I'm not being anti Semitic. I cannot be anti Semitic because I am a Semitic person. Right? Arab people are Semitic people. You know who are not a Semitic people? These so called Jews today. They are not the Semitic people. They have no DNA relation to the Semitic people of ancient times in that region. These are the Ashkenazi Jews. These are convert of Judaism. Okay? And the word Jew and Jewish was never used in ancient times. Israelite, Hebrews, Judeans. The word Jew, J-E-W, in Jewish, J-E-W-I-S-H, was a word created in the 18th century. What they have done is to pull the veil over our eyes. Sorry, not pull the veil, but they've created a veil over our eyes. And we have to pull the veil away from our eyes so we can see clearly. Okay? No black person can be called anti-Semitic. Right? When we criticize Israel and we criticize the Jewish people of today because they are not a Semitic people. Their DNA told them that. But they lie. Okay, it's a book called The People of the Lie. They have sought hard and long to silence archaeologists, historians who have known the truth about who they are. So when the Israel foreign minister gets on, goes to these conferences and they, she talks about 
young black African American male or young black males are a threat to Israel? You got to ask yourself, why are they saying this? Why are they saying this? All right. Think about that. Talk to you guys in the next video.